This instructional video is designed to show you how to take information about relative abundances and determine the weighted mass for the atomic mass. Now, the values included here are only samples made up. They are not the official determinations uh, that have been made by chemists and other chemical scientists. So, in this example, we have nitrogen with three isotopes, nitrogen 13 with a relative abundance of 3%, Nitrogen 14 with a relative abundance of 93%, and nitrogen 15 with a relative abundance of 4%. Now, in order to construct the weighted average, we'll take the mass in atomic mass units and multiply that by the relative abundance. So we get 13 times 3%, that's its contribution from nitrogen 13. We'll have 14 times 93%. That's the contribution from nitrogen 14. And the contribution to the mass from nitrogen 15 is 15 times 4%. So once we have these values, we can do the multiplication. Here we get 0 0.39. Here for nitrogen 14, we'll get 13.02. And for nitrogen 15, we get 0 0.6. This adds to a weighted average of 14. 0.01 atomic mass units. So that's our first example. Our next one, chlorine with two isotopes. Chlorine 35 has a relative abundance of 83%. Chlorine 37 has a relative abundance of 17%. So the same thing applies. We have 35 times the abundance, which is 83%, plus 37 times relative abundance of 17%. So we'll multiply each of these. The contribution from chlorine 35 to the overall mass is 29.05. For chlorine 37, we get 6.29. So this gives us 35.34 AMU. And again, these are not the official atomic masses. These are just the results we get from the numbers made up for these examples. So finally we have cobalt with four isotopes. Cobalt 56, 16%. Cobalt 57, 22%. Cobalt 59, 30%. And cobalt 60 at 32%. Use the same process. We have the mass times its relative abundance for each one of these. 22%. 59 times 30% and 60 times 32%. So we can step through each of these. We get 8.96. Uh, here, 12.54. Here, 17.7. And for our last one, uh, 19. 19.2. So all of this then adds up to 58.4 AMU. Now if you're given the actual exact masses and the actual exact relative abundances, you could determine a value that should come very close to what you expect to find on the periodic chart.